Hello everybody, today I will show you how you can show the write-ons on your screen when streaming with OBS. First you need to download a file, you can find this link in the description. For now I just paste the link here and the file gets downloaded. Then we are going to open OBS. Then we need to make three new text fields. The first one will be write-ons given, number, the second one will be write-ons received, number, The third one will be write-ons received names. Okay. So now we got these three text fields. Then we go to tools, script. And here we load the Luna file that we have downloaded. If you are working with a Mac, you can have these two arrows. On the Windows, this will probably not be the case. So I will first fix this on the MacBook. We open the Luna file. Now I just replace this part with the location of my Swift log file. Save it. Then we go back to OBS, Tools, Script. We refresh this and you can see that we now have some settings over here. Now let's make this a little bigger. Then we set the location of the Swift log file. This will be in documents. Swift logs and log.txt. Open it. Enable it. Minimum time to display right on five seconds. It's a standard value, that's okay. Check interval every one second. We check that there is a ride on or not. And the maximum names to display of people giving ride ons, let's say three. Then uh, suffix, let's keep that default. Now, here we can map our text fields. Total write-ons given. Write-ons given number. Total write-ons is write-ons received. Write-on source. Here we select write-ons given names. And close. Now let's start Swift. So I made this a bit easier to read. So here we have the received here we have the given write-ons and above that we will see the names if you now go to our Zwift and we give this person a write-on we can see that one write-on is given if you go back to me and now I give a write-on to Glenn Huygens, myself. You can see that Swiftest says write-on, Swiftest says write-on, and one write-on received. So that's it. There are also lots of other features, like a lab counter, the current route, etc. Check out the link in the description for these settings.
Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.